Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video, <laughs> he was literally just sleeping, but he loves the camera. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is um, I'm going to be reviewing the third pattern in the Tilling the Buttons Make It Simple book, and that is the Bertha Cardigan. And that's what I'm wearing. Um, for this cardigan, this pattern, you get um, the regular, like just the straight cardigan. I'm not sure how to word that. <laughs> and then you also get an option for some slash pockets. Okay. And then there's an option for thumb hole cuffs. And then the third and final option is um, how to add pom-poms to your sleeves. So you get four options with this pattern. Um, I put a picture out on Instagram asking for questions and I only ended up getting one question and that question was did I use my sewing machine or did I use my overlocker? And I ended up using the um, serger for the entire garment. I didn't use my sewing machine at all. Okay, so this pattern features um, a slouchy open cardigan with raglan sleeves and it hits just right above the hip. So my measurements put me at a size 3 for the bust and waist and size 4 for the hip. But because the pattern mentioned that it hits on your high hip, I just went ahead and made the size three um, straight. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure if that was the correct choice or not. And that is just because this is my least favorite garment and um, it's not one that I'm going to be making again. And I can't tell if it's because of how the pattern is drafted or if it's because I ended up just making the size so I'm going to um, show you real quick what it looks like. So it's made to be worn open. Um, it's not meant to be, you know, closed. And it hits at your high hip. So um, this, so the shirt that I'm wearing is the Tabitha t-shirt. And I, um, my last video was reviewing this. So I'll link that in the description box. But Making this shirt is kind of what made me think about just doing the size three, and that's because the hip, um, the shirt hits at the higher hip, and it was smaller than your hip measurement. So I thought if I just did it like this, it would be fine. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, so I would like to hear what you guys think. Should I have made it with the size four for the hip? Um, with but, so the reason why I don't think it's because of that is because I think I just don't like how the arms are like super bunchy and then I think this is the part that I don't like the most <laughs> is that like the armpit, like my armpit is here but the seam is like way out here so it has like all this excess fabric and I'm just not sure if this style looks good on me, you know, and it's like all like bunchy right here, it's bunchy down here. I'm not entirely sure if I like this neck band or not, um, how it kind of curves in like this. So, I don't know, I wish I was, <laughs> I could be a little bit more helpful. I'm asking you guys to help me out. <laughs> do you think I should have made this with the um, four hip or do you think making it a size three? was the right call or do you think it just doesn't matter and it's just how the pattern is drafted with the um, sleeves and the bodice the way that it is. So I'm going to show you real quick the illustration of it so hopefully you can get a little bit better understanding. So you see here I think because you know I think this is the reason why I don't like this garment but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I will say however that even though I don't particularly like how this fits and looks on me. This is a very fairly simple make um, and I think this would be great for beginners. First, how do, I'm, how am I going to say this? For beginners that are just starting to work with knits and the reason why I say that is because it is a raglan sleeve which means that you're just sewing a straight line and you don't have to 
um, so like the curve or you know to set in a sleeve so what I mean by that is in this instruction this step right here this is your sleeve so you see how it's just like straight it's pretty flat and you're lining it up with your back bodice and it's literally just one straight line versus having to put in a sleeve that has a curve like the um, Tabitha so I'm going to show that to you guys real quick so you see here how like the Tabitha is curved and you have to set in the sleeve like that it's much easier to do a raglan than it is um, for that so I will say that it is um, fairly simple and I think it's great for beginners that are just starting to work with knits um, for the sizing Let's see. <sighs> All right, so it doesn't give you um, your finished measurements for your bust, waist, or hip. It just shows like the bottom edge and then the length. So I don't know if that's gonna be helpful um, to anybody to figure out what size that they need. So I would just go off of what um, your body measurements are. And yeah, that's kind of, um, all I have for this the fabric that I use was a sweatshirt fabric that I purchased from pin and sew um, probably like three or four years ago uh, they're no longer selling um, fabric unfortunately so I can't link it but um yeah that's all I have <laughs> oh wait so the time um, it says you can expect to finish sewing this in an hour and 35 minutes and my time ended up being 59 minutes and 26 seconds so just right under an hour um so yeah pretty simple make um i don't really have a whole lot of feedback for this pattern um other than i'm not i'm still not entirely sure that i like this um i, I honestly think it has to do with this area right here so i'd be happy to know um if you guys have any constructive feedback on this <laughs> garment um, and if you've made this what your thoughts were and if you have any other questions um, please let me know and I'll do my best to respond to them um, as best as I can and I'll see you guys next week where I go over the Suki dress so bye